1959, New York State Housing Authority developed the Castle Hill Houses a housing project in the Bronx. Since then, the project has grown to accommodate over 2,025 apartments. It is one of the largest public housing units in New York City. Since 2006, it has been under a voluntary conversion to more affordable housing, compatible with Section 8 vouchers, and the entire complex is under renovation, though most residents still live here. On August 5th of 2009, Mayor Bloomberg and the New York City Housing Authority created a project in Castle Hill called the Energy Efficiency Program, aiming to reduce carbon emissions by over 4,900 tons across the entire city, using over $200 million of the federal stimulus bill. In Castle Hill, the program is run by Resident Associate Association President Roxanne Reed, who we speak to here. My name is uh, Roxanne, Roxanne Reed. I'm the TA President for Castle Hill Houses in the Bronx. And I worked in the community for a while, a long while. I've been working here for a long time in the community. To try to get the community back together the way it used to be, but I know it ain't going to be easy. It's a hard challenge, and I'm willing to challenge it. Hmm. You know. Bronx? Not Castle Hill. I grew up in the South Bronx. Okay. Yeah. Is this the South Bronx? This is the uh, East North Bronx. East North Bronx. Yeah. Hey, we'll start from the fourth floor, go up. But that's what I do with some of the tenants. Mm. I get some of the tenants together mm -hmm. and I uh, mm. get them to clean the floor. That's good. Yeah. 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 This is one floor that was clean, but they got to go back over it. This is when they did it. But they got to do it over because. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. I'm just holding y'all over. But they got to do it over because um, they got to have an elf flood. You yeah. Know what I'm yeah. Yeah, this is good. Yeah. This is what the kids do when they get nothing else to do. They make a mess, you know. Yeah. I'm going to show you out there, so don't worry about that. Yeah, it's beautiful. What floor do you cook? I'm on 12. Yeah, that's nice. This one's clean. That one's good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And this one, this floor right here is another floor where the people attempt to clean, which I'm supposed to have a young man that's supposed to work with me. Roxanne's apartment okay, has been you. renovated nice under the apartment. Castle Hill Energy Efficiency oh, Program. Okay. Started in 2006. Yeah. Uh -huh. That part right here, mm -hmm. it goes to the fuse box because that's supposed to be part of the energy save. Oh, okay. Okay, that's part of the electricity where the, um, it'll target the um, heat uh -huh. in the apartment and stuff like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. so. Roxanne shows us her many awards, including recognition of her service to Castle Hill from Mayor Bloomberg and from the New York Police Department. She shows us clips from a movie that her film student's son is working on. It's called Hood Man, and it's a semi-autobiographical superhero comedy, bringing hope to hoods everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out at youtube.com. Roxanne shows us the terrace on the 12th floor. Though it's usually locked, she has the key. Roxanne explains that in 2006, when the New York Housing Authority transitioned Castle Hill houses from yeah. a pure public housing yeah. unit to a combination this of subsidized really apartment complexes <laughs> and public lucky. housing, you get to, you the get composition of the apartment's residents changed to a more low-income bracket of New Yorkers. People that's wow. coming in is wow. Wild? Wow. I mean, you know, they come in Section 8, and they're not used to nothing. Like, used to what kind of stuff? Uh, not used to living in D.C. Mm -hmm. You see how they change the light fixtures here? These light fixtures? Yeah. Yeah. It's like one of them they Yeah. And in between all of her many tasks, Roxanne still knows where to go to have fun in Castle Hill. Do you go to Mimosa? The, the center, they got the community center next door. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, for the things for the kids. They got um, kids, yeah. kids made the way the girls come up. Yeah. yeah. So it's pretty good for the kids. It's How old is that? Yeah, that should have been here for a while. Yeah. Yeah, but they just changed over the name about a couple of years. So. Yeah. And the only YMCA in the Bronx, right? Yeah, they got one down, Randall. They got the YMCA is down Castle Hill. They got one further down by the waterfront. Okay. They got the YMCA down there. Okay. Then they got Kips Bay right here. Then they got another Kips Bay down, down uh, Randall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All the way down there. You need to stretch 
Oh, no, you can't. Now get on out of here. <laughs> and what makes Roxanne the best resident association president Castle Hill House has ever seen? She knows almost all of her residents' names by heart, and she says hello to every child we pass. Roxanne is doing her part for her community through her position as resident associate president, as well as through her actions with Matt Bloomberg and the energy efficiency program, and with making sure that housing stays affordable for everyone. <laughs> <laughs>